Louisiana's poultry production grossed more than $1.6 billion in 2010 and continues to be the state's number one animal commodity. That's according to the LSU Ag Center. For poultry growers, efficient, state-of-the-art equipment is an essential tool for producing the best results. This week in Louisiana Agriculture's Kristen Oaks discovered how the LSU Ag Center is helping farmers grow a better bird. Sure, the business of growing chickens may seem simple. Feed them, water them, repeat. But ask broiler manager Mark Ware if raising chickens is easy and he'll probably get a good laugh at your expense. The reality of growing a marketable chicken from egg to your kitchen table is an exercise in science. Science the LSU Ag Center is using to simplify the process farmers use to grow their birds. These, these numbers right here are constantly reading. That's where this board tells this board what to do. Ware explains the state-of-the-art heating systems used in the Hill Farms broiler demonstration houses here in Homer. The LSU Ag Center built these two houses last year to improve efficiency and help farmers become more profitable. If I were looking at changing over to a different type of heat, I'd want to have some uh, data to back it up. It's a simple science project. Tube heating versus traditional brooder heaters, keeping all other variables constant. We try to keep the temperature exactly the same, the same number of fans running at the same time with every the cool cells coming on at the same time, at the same temperature, everything as close as we possibly can keep it. For the current project, looking at the two different types of brooders, we're going to be doing that for at least a two year period. We have completed one year of production and we are just starting our second year of production. Dr. Teresa Laverne serves on the Broiler House Steering Committee. The committee determines which variables are tested during the experiments and it also decides how the information gained during these experiments will be used in future applications. We could look at different litter management techniques, different ways of handling litter, different mortality management techniques. We could do product testing. Laverne says these tests could ultimately improve an industry that contributes millions of dollars to the state's economy. If we look at the value of the poultry industry, it is larger than that of the value of all the other animal industries combined. A poultry farmer for nearly 30 years, Ware says the test data he's seen thus far could eventually save farmers money and maximize their output. The tube heat is running more economical and also growing a little bigger chicken and a little better feed conversion consistently. There's not a great difference, but there is, it is consistently better. The difference is simple. A simple science for growing a better bird. In Homer, I'm Kristen Oaks for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Now the Hill Farm Broiler House Oversight Committee will meet on August 24th to discuss the project's progress and to consider possible inputs to test in future trial flocks. To find out more about the Broiler Demonstration Project, you can visit our website at twilatv.org.